Good morning, traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Monday, March 13th. All right, guys. Well, we are continually in this range uh, where the markets uh, trade sideways, consolidate, maybe very, very little pullback, and then the markets explode higher yet again. And that's what we're in. I'm looking for, and I mentioned to you guys uh, in the uh, indices, I'm looking for a fourth minor pullback to conclude the fifth wave overall, the big fifth wave of this bull market. Now, the question is the timing part of it, and we're still getting, we still need more evidence to see um, if we even get this fourth wave pullback. Now, this little pullback uh, that we have, this little consolidation, it really is in the pullback uh, as far as I'm concerned, as far as technically speaking. Uh, we did nothing really for four or five days. To me, it's more of a consolidation uh, at these upper end of the ranges. Again, I'll show that to you. I'll get a little bit more in detail with the uh, spider chart. But let's get right to the uh, UUP. You can see here that we're kind of barely holding into the dollar 26.15. Remember, we have rate decision that comes on Wednesday, all right? Fed rate decision, uh, increase of 25 basis points, which I believe will happen. Um, how does the market react? Uh, not not to what the number actually is, but it, but obviously if we do get a 50 basis point, the markets will react very negative. But if we get a 25 basis point, could the market just pull back and then rally, knowing that it's expected? Uh, we shall see. But we'll talk about a little bit more of that when we get into the spiders. Okay. Next is going to be the GDX. Here's our free um, Pro Trader Premier levels we were talking about. You can see here held very nicely right. In the, uh, in the middle of that neckline that we looked, we identified that inverted head and shoulders, which failed, okay, did not trigger, so it failed, and now uh, we're looking for that higher low from this previous low, or at least the double bottom test, okay, and then we'll, we'll see where this goes, but um, gold looking much better now, um, looking to be bought, I would not, like I mentioned here, if it, it really had to take out the swing high here of uh, 20, uh, 25.76 in order for us, for this uh, invert head and shoulders to work, it did not. Uh, and that's where I would have been a buyer, a better buyer anyway. Now this is even, uh, price is much better down here, but we just need to see this thing hold, need to consolidate a little bit more, create some sort of a sideways consolidation channel, and then break out the swing high, or at least test the double bottom. If we lose a double bottom, then obviously we're going lower yet again. All right, but right now we're waiting to see uh, where this stops, all right, in GDX. GLD, pretty much the same, you can see that here. But remember, we mentioned about the divergence in GDX versus the GLD, and GDX usually leads uh, the metal itself, and sure enough, GDX was sold off, and then so did the gold. Gold sold off as well, all right? So really, no trade here, guys. No, Really, there isn't a high probability trade in gold. Uh, TLT broke the consolidation, and we are now testing this double bottom. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so what we need to do is either get back above this resistance, which was support, if you want to buy bonds or wait for um, a rally fail and then look to short on a break below this area here okay so still really no high probability trade here at tmt so we're we'll sidestepping bonds but still looking at it actually very closely all right so here's the spiders uh we we actually caught up remember we were down we were up here about two and 2.8 percent away from the 21 daily ema and i just i took out all the other indicators and and which I still haven't, but I wanted to just show you, we have a, a potential bull flag here, which we did break out on Friday. And you could see that we broke down, we sold off the gap, and then we went back up again. Buyers of dips, guys, are in full, full force. There is so much retail money coming into this market at the highs. Um, and that's another sign that the markets are... are um, are, are abs absolutely fully valued or fully priced in. When retail comes in at the highs, you have to be careful of a top. And that's where I believe the, uh, this market is carving out a top. So we want to look at where uh, where would be that fifth wave. This little tiny pullback to me is not a fourth minor. I'm looking for more of a, a pullback back down to here, something a little bit more meaningful but yet shallow. Uh, so I'm looking for that fourth minor wave pullback, okay, within the larger fifth wave completion of this full bull market. All right, now where does the market, um, where do we map out a, uh, an idea of where this may go? Well, here's that 60-minute chart. We looked at, remember that 240 we, we said many weeks ago? Well, we got that within a couple of days after mentioning 240, and now we did sell off, but this isn't a, this isn't a real looking a little bit of a pullback. This just came in, consolidated. You could see that we went sideways for about six, seven days for slightly lower lows, but really sideways with no fear, no volume. Um, to me, that's not a pullback. The pullback is everybody said, everybody stating that, oh my God, the pullback has started, right? 
that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for more fear. I'm looking for an expansion of volatility. And then the fourth wave minor pullback happens, right? So now interest rate decision is over here on the 15th, somewhere in that area, right? Two days from now, yes, will be the 15th. So if we are to um, get a rate hike and the market does not like the rate hike, again, it, we do not know what it's going to happen with the market until the bigger players show up, right? So if the market starts to sell off and that does produce a fourth wave pullback, I think maybe we can sell off pretty much down somewhere in this area here, 220, 225, uh, and then um, get everybody short, okay, stating that, okay, this is it, this is it, get everybody short, get the shorts to, uh, to, to get in one more time after getting beaten and battered since 2009. And then the longs pile in, buy the dip, shorts capitulate, and we go even higher than 240, maybe into 244, 245, in a ridiculous blow-off top run that goes straight up. I mean, literally, what I'm looking for is this. I'm looking for an expansion of volatility, so the fourth wave pullback will get us down to here, somewhere in here, okay? Right up in this area. Let's just say, and again, these are just assumptions. We have no idea where this is going to happen, but just playing out a scenario, and then buyers of dips come in and literally just straight up for weeks and weeks to get in and blow off top happens for two to three weeks four weeks and that'll get us into sometime in the summer um, either possibly July August even September uh, unless there is obviously a, a risk event a geopolitical rent that happens that really moves uh, the market lower then this fourth wave could be truncated and this fifth wave could actually be truncated, and now this fourth wave starts the fifth wave pullback, okay, if you if you could follow that. Um, so really, we don't know. This is something that I'm looking for. It just seems that um, the markets are so shallow when it's pulling back, and you can see this here, but you see how we pull back, but we still make a higher low from the previous low. You pull back a little bit, you dip lower, make a higher low from this previous low, and then you do a little bit of a run for four or five days. You gap up, you go sideways, and then you do the small little pullback yet again. So if you looked at just price, it would tell you this is, it does the same thing. We go sideways, we run for four or five days, we pull back, we run for four or five days, we pull back, but still making a higher low from this previous low. We go sideways by making small little grinds higher, pop up, pull back, still sideways, but making higher highs and higher lows. Very choppy, very subdued type of trading, very... Um, uh, a, a nasty type of trading for the day trader. Let's put it that way. Especially if you're uh, if you're just starting out uh, and you don't know what to do or find, uh, it could be really really uh, boring. And, and this is the type of trading that 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 everyone one hates. Unless obviously if you if you're fully invested in a wealth manager or 401k, um, uh, IRA stuff type thing. This is what you want, right? You don't want volatility, just an increase in moving higher. But I do believe this is going to end, and it's going to end real bad. Okay, we just don't know what what day, what time. In the meantime, what do you do? You stick to uh, the trend. The trend is always your friend. So we look to buy pullbacks, uh, like everyone else is doing. Okay, don't look to short the market unless you have a good account that you can nibble in into a, a short position and and uh, go very slow. Uh, that's the thing. That's what I'm looking to do. So uh, nibble into a short position, get the fourth wave minor. You cover that. You get long for the last expansion of this of this bull market and then you get short on that failure okay IWM you can see here guys we're holding in steady here um, so for those of you who, who are short uh, that have mentioned that you guys are short just be careful here because uh, once we get a little pullback we might even get it just to the 38 percent retracement that would be pretty much it uh, but we'll see let's see what when this when and if this fourth wave minor pullback does happen of course I'll monitor it and I will give you um, confirmation on that IYT just really uh, selling off here, very, very, uh, very shallow sell off, which is bullish at the upper end of the range, which is bullish to me. Even if we get down to here, it's still bullish. We need to really sell off back down to these levels, and even obviously the level of break is going to be here, 138.76, and that's way, way away. Okay, so uh, right now this is still bullish, and this is our leader. And last is going to be the Qs. Uh, Fang stocks doing well. Apple, Google. Uh, and they're all at all just about all-time highs extremely expensive look at the bone Japan's here um, it's something's going to happen you can see here it doesn't tell you what direction but you can see this has been this is this hasn't been that much that tight in the bone Japan's since way back in here okay and once that happens you're going to look for an expansion of volatility one way or the other so let's keep an eye on the cues that might give us some signs as well have a great day everybody we'll see you tomorrow take care